Let's have a little yap session about our home earth. You know, that floating ball we're all stuck on together. Have you ever stopped to wonder just how ridiculously lucky we are to exist on this specific planet? No, seriously? Earth is like the ultimate needle in a cosmic haystack. If gravity, temperature, or even our moon were slightly off, we'd all be space dust. So grab a snack, because today we're going on a cosmic journey to find out why Earth is basically the universe's most exclusive VIP club and why other planets should be totally jealous. Let's start with something you've probably heard in school. Earth sits in the Goldilocks zone. Now what does that mean? Well, imagine ordering porridge like actual porridge. Venus, that fiery drama queen, would hand you a bowl that's literally on fire. Meanwhile, Mars is over there handing you a block of ice and calling it soup. Earth is perfectly positioned, not too hot, not too cold, just right. This sweet spot lets us have liquid water. And without water, life as we know it would be, well, non-existent. Move us just a little closer to the sun and we'd turn into a burnt marshmallow. Move us farther and we're an ice cube floating in the cosmic cooler. Next up, gravity. Ah, gravity. The force that keeps us from floating into space like lost balloons. Earth's gravity is like the perfect hug. Tight enough to hold on to our atmosphere, but not so tight that we feel like we're wearing 50-pound weighted blankets 24-7. Here's the thing. If Earth's gravity were even slightly weaker, say by 5%, our atmosphere would drift off into space like helium from a sad birthday balloon. On the other hand, if gravity were stronger, everything would feel like a workout. The gym would be your entire life. And speaking of cosmic hugs, let's give a shout out to our moon. The moon isn't just there to look pretty or inspire bad poetry. It's basically Earth's life coach. Without it, we'd be spinning out of control, literally. The moon stabilises Earth's axial tilt, which gives us predictable seasons. No moon, no summer vacations, no snowball fights, just endless climate chaos. Also, tides. Ever gone to the beach? You can thank the moon for that. Without it, the oceans would be eerily calm, and life might never have evolved the way it did. So yeah, the moon isn't just Earth's sidekick, it's the ultimate MVP. Now. Let's talk about Earth's secret weapon, its magnetic field. This invisible force field is basically Earth's version of a superhero cape. It deflects solar wind, which sounds harmless, but is actually a deadly stream of charged particles that would fry us faster than bacon on a hot skillet. Without our magnetic shield, our atmosphere would be stripped away like wrapping paper on Christmas morning. Earth's magnetic field is the OG signal that's keeping you alive. Now, let's dig a little deeper, literally. Earth's geology is wild. Volcanoes, earthquakes, shifting tectonic plates. It's chaos, but it's good chaos. Plate tectonics are the reason Earth's climate stays stable over millions of years. Tectonic plates recycle carbon, which helps regulate temperature. No plate tectonics? Earth would have either frozen over or turned into a runaway greenhouse like Venus. So yeah, those earthquakes you hate? They're just Earth doing its maintenance work. So here's the thing. Earth isn't just rare, it's ridiculously rare. It's like the universe baked a cake and nailed the recipe on the first try against all odds. We're sitting in the Goldilocks zone, which is already crazy specific, but that's just the beginning. The universe had to measure everything perfectly too much or too little of anything, and Earth wouldn't have existed. For example, the Sun is the perfect type of star. Not too big, not too small, burning long enough to let life evolve. The mix of elements that formed Earth? Spot on. Too much hydrogen, and we'd be a gas giant. Too little carbon, and forget having an atmosphere. Even the distance between Earth and the Sun was dialed in like a cosmic thermostat. Move us slightly closer, and we'd be Venus, a literal inferno. Move us farther, and we'd be Mars, a frozen wasteland. We're basically the universe's only successful science experiment, and trust me, the odds were not in our favour. Think about it. 
Most of the universe is either too hot, too cold, or just plain empty. The fact that we're here on this tiny blue dot with breathable air, liquid water, and pizza, it's mind blowing. So the next time you're stuck in traffic, arguing over pineapple on pizza, or just having one of those days, take a second to appreciate the fact that we're even here. Because in the grand scheme of the universe, Earth is a miracle. A one in a trillion chance that everything lined up just perfectly. Oh, and seriously, let's take care of it. Miracles like this don't happen twice.